Oh, hello there. Welcome to the second episode of Antiques at My House. I really can't believe it's already the second episode. We're just gonna be like rolling through these, but don't worry, I have like a ton of, don't worry, I have like a ton of stuff to show. I'm really excited. Some of it's like cooler than others, but you know, you can pick and choose what you wanna watch because that's the beauty of YouTube. It's also very possible that we'll have some like new segments coming in the next few episodes, maybe some new characters some guest spots. If you send me your photos of antiques at your house, I'll put them on antiques at my house, the show, and then we will hear your story about them and I'll provide evaluation as well on your items, not just my items. So let's do it. This week, I want to show you this lamp. I got it from a thrift store one time. The fun thing is it actually didn't end up being that cheap for a thrift store find, mostly because I found it like this. So this is what I found first. And I said, wow, that's cool. I, I like that. So I, I picked it up and I was like carrying it around. And I was looking and then I found this and this was priced separately from this. I feel like they probably went together because like it fits so perfect together. I guess not exactly perfect, but I, I, I really do think they went together, but I did end up paying for them each separately. So yeah, so uh, that's, that's how I found this. It was either meant to be, or I created some kind of Frankenstein lamp that I actually very much enjoy. It is a bit dusty, so let's uh, give that a quick dust. If you think you still see dust on it, no you don't. It's dust free now. Side note, isn't it like the best when you find something at the thrift store and then they're like, do you want to try it and see if it works? And then you try it and it does actually work because I've brought a lot of things home that don't actually work. So this lamp does work. I'm not going to turn it on, but it does work. Maybe I'll show you some B-roll of it turning on. So anyways, let's dive into figuring out what it's worth. So this one was actually hard to search for because there's no markings on it. There's no labels. I had no idea what to look for other than like maybe brass lamp. So instead I did a reverse Google search and it seems like this might be something called an electrified oil lamp, uh, which honestly sounds terrifying and makes me feel a lot better about making sure that we turn it off before we go to bed. I did see some other people just call it a brass electric lamp. That's probably more accurate. There's a few out there that look similar to this one. They have like the like, nice little details on top and they're nice little short table lamps. And they aren't going for much. Some people, you know, are selling them for like 10 bucks and some people are selling them for like $75. There's some really nice brass lamps out there with like a ton of detail that look really sweet. And those are going for like thousands of dollars, which is kind of crazy. I didn't find this exact one anywhere. I didn't see it for sale or post anywhere. So I'm actually going to bet that this is like a hundred percent one of a kind, like very rare. Like you can't find this anywhere except that thrift store that I got it. Okay. So now that we've done our research, I'm ready to give this my valuation. And I would actually give it about 50 bucks to 80 bucks. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I might sell it for that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like it doesn't have like a family tie to me. It's just something I found in a thrift store. I do have good memories of thrifting for it, but it's cool. It's like a cool lamp. But yeah, we just keep moving it to different parts of the house. Like I never can find like a good spot for it. Or if we find a good spot for it, it's like, oh, there's no outlet there. So, so it's a, it's a lamp. Maybe it's something I'll give away I'm at some point later down the road in one of the fancy giveaways I have planned. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for, I'm gonna move this. Right. So thanks so much for watching um, and making it this far. If you haven't already liked this video and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And let me know what you think about the lamp. Like, is it cool? Like, would you just get rid of it? I've thought about that several times. I don't know. I'm having a lot of existential crisis over this specific lamp, but yeah. Definitely let me know if you agree with my valuation. Feel free to argue in the comments. There's gonna be lots more videos in the future. 
keep checking out the channel. Follow me on social media if you want. And please send me cool photos of your stuff because, like, I really want to see the stuff. Not just stuff, like antiques and things you have in your house. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you find some light in your day. I turned it on. I thought I wasn't going to turn it on, but I did anyways. Yeah, have a great day.